Hello everyone. Uh, greetings from India. Here we, uh, myself, Bikram Jura, and my co-presenter Sasikant Lakla is presenting to, uh, on, a, on a topic, language documentation and capacity building challenges from tribal Jharkhand, India. Okay. So uh, in this uh, topic, uh, we are explore the role of linguists and other scholars and government institution concerned with and about the language endangerment crisis and their implementation techniques with the help of community members. So here is the roadmap for the, this talk. Okay, history of language documentation, scenario in India and Jharkhand, situation in Jharkhand, customizing the vague documentation practices, situation based refurbishment of approach in Jharkhand and why we bother our language documentation. Okay, so I will start with a quote. Books and recording can preserve languages, but only people can, people and communities can keep them alive. This is Dora Marx. Okay. So here are the few questions and history of language documentation. Okay. Uh, well, reasons for language excellence and loss is due to contact among human communities of unequal socio-economic, political and technological status and linguistics diversity can be further accelerated by colonization, empire building and the new colonization focused on population movement and economic expansion. High concentration of different languages coexist side by side. We are not denying this fact. Language continua, multilingualism, lingua franca, and pidgins. However, we also notice minor languages are transforming their part from endangered, lang endangered towards extinction, and major language slowly and gradually towards in the states of Moribund. Numbers of Moribund to extinct languages are increasing at an unprecedented magnitude and pace. Current estimate put the number of Moribund languages at 20 to 50 percent of the 6,000 to 7,000 extant languages. B present, uh, if present trends are not re re reversed, as many as 90 percent of the world's languages may become extinct or Moribund in the course of 21st century. Now, come back to scenario of India and Jharkhand. Uh, in the scholar declared that, that uh, less than 10,000 people is potentially endangered. And after, 90, um, after 1971 census, Indian government had decided that any language spoken by less than 10,000 people need, need not to be included in the official list of languages. India may have lost 200 lang languages since 1961. There are about 600 languages which are potentially endangered and out of 780 languages in India. Uh, this is uh, by Ganesh Devi in 2020. In India, colonial impact did not suppress the native languages but marginalized it. Okay. Post-independence tribal languages are concealed to uh, uh, file in cabinets and disregard to the structure or the policies framed by the government towards the community. Scheduled languages of India have been exclusive, prerogative through the policies and, pra and practices. Un unofficially divide, categorize them into three parts. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, into three parts. Uh, as we know that the mainstream of the languages in India are Hindi and English. However, there are various official languages in India at the state or territory level because of the diversity extent to the language as well. So we are categorized them into uh, three parts. Okay. The first is the scheduled language or official language. Second, Officially unacknowledged majority tribal languages or languages whose count of speaker is above 10,000. And third, category which officially 
unacknowledged minor tribal languages whose count of speaker is below 10,000. The bitter truth behind this uh, categorizing if the same is because these languages occupy the lowest rung in the complex social hierarchy. Uh, in recent years, the Indian government has initiated support in documentaries on minority and lesser studied languages through budding infrastructure like institute, center, and projects. In 2007, Central Institute of Indian Language in Mysore oversees the training of hundreds of field linguists to document speech varieties. In 2013, Ministry of Human Resource Development initiated the scheme for protection and preservation of Indian languages, whose main goals are the grammar dictionary in the making of grammar dictionary and ethnolinguistic sketch, uh, which will cover 170 languages with 10,000 of few speakers and with has a future goal of covering 500 languages in the next few years or in a decade. Okay. So, <clears throat> So during 12th plan, University Grant Commission providing support, financial support to getting up center for preservation and promotion of endangered language in nine central universities. Various stakeholders in charge. Okay. okay. Who are those? And they they are controlled by the central government, centrally controlled. Okay. Uh, in uh, like Central University of Jharkhand. Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts, as in Ranchi, state controlled by Ramdal Munda Research Institute, Ranchi University, Kolhan University, and in private, international non profit organization like Living Tongues and individual scholars. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, we are talking about these various stakeholders in India, especially in Jharkhand. The linguistic work has typically been based on extractive model that considered only the scholar as a stakeholder in the relationship. Okay. And this approach has not yielded satisfying interaction for the tribal language community stakeholders and has really led to the improving the language status or functional domains of the tribal language, but rather simply leads to advancing assimilation as this disenfranchisement. Okay. The fact that the linguists in training need more scaffolding in their attempts toward language description, it has been observed that while collecting data, they simply translate the listicles. In doing this, researchers often miss less observable or reportable grammatical feature of languages. Okay, now let's uh, categorize uh, tribal languages in Jharkhand. There are two classes. First one is a major classes, second one is minor classes, and both the categories are in moribund stage. Okay. And languages in major classes, some Kali Munda, Guru, Ho, Karya. Situation is population is comparatively more than 10,000. Moribund stage is prevalent in urban areas and not in homogeneous rural areas. That's the interesting fact about the major classes in Jharkhand. In minor classes, uh, languages like Asur, Bhumis, Birja, Bihor, Turi, population is completely lesser than 1000 and it is presently in the last phase of Morugun state. Okay. This means it is being pushed toward extinction. Uh, uh, in come to the customizing the way documentation practices, we know that language documentation is a profound, profoundly political matter, as by quote by uh, Ozisi in 2001. And most of the time, we are handcuffed in writing real factors of language endangerment crisis. Even though we know that this is a time to taking task, they should take our time to resolve this issue either in between the project or after its completion. Okay, so what will be the role of institution? So institution can expand their role because they have a big funds and they can accumulate versatile or multiple expert for multidisciplinary research. 
regular training and language documentation of workshop for their scholars okay and where they should understand and grow their skills and access to information and knowledge and in these workshops they need to tailor content availability and techniques and practices that maximize community engagement and this enables them to perform effectively okay. now we come to the what's the role and challenges for scholars this is scholars hmm. was their role they should act like a serious agent ready to listen indigenous people and minorities counterparts fulfill their needs and desire you know that okay, this is a time taking task but they can do that okay uh, now come to uh, quote narish the uh, posi narish that continue research into language and cultural diversity requires a more collaborative approach in which equitable partnership evolve from mutual interest between researchers and local communities and they cannot act like a detached observer and data gatherers and then depart leaving nothing behind this is a uh, researchers should think of how their research can give any additional benefits to the language community so we come to the informants dilemma and uh, in informants dilemma Mm. like uh, language communities are struggle with few questions like uh, why should they give time to these scholars who never come back for them as a researcher point of view i try to answer these questions okay uh, we agree that most of the language community does not have any infrastructure where they can store the documents audio video recording materials and other stuffs so there is a urgent need of local and national repository or at least digital archive for digital language um, digital language data in this way we can establish the value of annotated corpora audio and video for multiple fields of study and for multiple stakeholders and communities will be benefited benefited by their outcomes it means ki researchers or the institution have a responsibility to pass this message to the higher authorities okay and what about their oral tradition hmm. we know that all the indigenous community transmit their knowledge of history culture and rituals and biodiversity through language in oral form passing over generation there are few communities who have script and things are documented in their written form and those who don't have they think that what will happen to their tradition that will be going on for centuries and and uh uh be uh pure uh, we are answering to this question so like you know uh, there is nothing going to harm the tradition if you tell us or if you supply the knowledge of your tradition is not going to harm your community nor your tradition because we are keeping it forever okay and now let's come to the uh, the third questions in what script they should important aspect of their language and culture and tradition they report okay okay uh, i'm telling about the situation in chartan like major languages like santhali munda they have their own script and but still there is some flaws in it and lack of acceptance by the community hmm. there are some groups among these who like to follow regional or local dominant language script like hindi odia bangla and so on or roman script in a new of their own script i'm here uh, we are here okay, like you know supporting or uh, assuring that key first you should try to um, reverse the language indigenment okay the process of language indigenment these are the long 
debatable issues and we can resolve. This cannot be, you know, but the script. There's a long debatable question. We should wait for it first. What is accessible and I mean, what is uh, easily understand by the community of the language, any language community of any reason, they should follow their local and regional language. Even those script has some flaws in it, like uh, Munda language has, like a glottal stop is hard to define through uh, uh, the, the Devanagari script. Okay, let's move to the next. What is community capacity building? Why we need this, that, this, okay? Language is not an object that can be considered in isolation and communication does not simply occur by means of sequence of sounds. Language is a social practice within social life, one practice among others, inseparable from its environment, okay? It is a long-term process, you know that this depends on participant of and constant interaction between all involved stakeholders, okay? Community and who is doing the research there, okay? For a tribal scholarly partnership in the Indian context, we advocate for safeguarding tradition through development of the tribal spiritual culture while creating high quality documentation record of language practices associated with promoting spiritual culture development traditional economies okay and not enforcing outside economy economic practices as we seen in Bihar and Asur the higher you know officer they are forcing them to you know change their economic practices that's the bad idea for this group situation based uh, refurbishment of approach in Jharkhand Documentary linguistics as practiced today is concerned with the creation of annotated multi-purpose and lasting record of language based primarily upon digital recording of communicative events. The one problem with this method is that it's time consuming, but it is what we really need to document on any language. Okay, so here we got an opportunity to work on critically endangered languages of Jharkhand, which is funded by Jagar Family Foundation. Okay. First, we decided uh, to decided about the methods and approach to document the different aspects of language, as mentioned in our project proposal. Next plan of action was to lo locate the area of study because this community is spread in small pockets over six to eight districts of Jharkhand. Another, another problem with language community is that there is a different level of language proficiency among old, middle, and young generation. Keeping in mind the following points, living tongues and working scholars decided to opt for a diversion from the Tidon determined plan of X document the Behold language. The community members are given an opportunity to share their opinions. Here we can see in the first picture on the workflow, as in picture two also, structure as per their ability and the ease of understanding our prime objective behind the community interaction. So here are a few members who are ready to help us. Okay. And, and, uh, and in order to compensate the time of the community and to maintain the continuity of work, we decided to train young, train young native male and female to proactively volunteer to report in the absence of research. So here are the outcome of this, the two before community members, they are recording their language data. This is another one. This is a training of young volunteers. Okay, let's move to the slide two. Uh, however, after observing the data carefully, we found that difference in the data set was because of the age group and the married female married female because the married female migrated from the different region after marriage okay so we spoke to them about the problem and uh, came up with a solution before they it would be a whole sense word or sentence they should discuss and decide the correct form so here is a result you can see uh, five six 
uh, the whole community members sitting together and discussing on the contents of the uh, recorded items. Here we have a uh, researcher showing picture of the children's book, recording system of the trilingual dictionary. Here also four or five members are there. Exploring the biodiversity knowledge with the community members and capturing the biomedical non medicinal knowledge of the female members. So uh, we are behind the every members of the community who have who want to share their knowledge of their language. Okay. So uh, behind this, we have one motive. Okay. Okay. We try to be the limited team members. We push ourselves to involve maximum number of community members of different age groups to access their knowledge on language, culture, and surrounding biocultural diversity. And we try to avoid classroom settings, okay? To record things in a natural setup and a natural form. Here, yeah. uh, we acknowledge the needs of the community and decided to purchase the musical instrument for the one particular village. And we are surprised by the reaction of output community given to us. We collected a bunch of traditional songs, lullaby and children's story. We also managed to publish the first ever children's book of the community. Okay. And you can see all the smile on the display. Okay. And why we bother about the holistic approach? No come because there is no comprehensible method of approaches. Documentation of endangered language is a challenging task. Diverse team will be work on any specified language that output will be different. Individuals cannot focus on multidisciplinary aspect of language. It requires to work on interface of science and action. Self upgradation of scholar in terms of technology, work attitude, inquisitive team approach towards other research funding, and flexibility towards any change in project goal or approach as per the need arises. In conclusion, we can say that understand the importance of nature of linguistics diversity, support action to counter the crisis. This method translates into policy and into economic and educational initiative more favorable to the maintenance of diversity and mobilizing the funding for that purpose. Language diversity and especially the minority language within that diversity will continue to exist only if the communities of speaker themselves value the language and the continue to use them. If all society, if all society recognize their value, accept multilingualism as the desirable norm and government change their practice related to educational and social policies, we support and foster multilingualism. Okay. In spite of this trend, we managed to achieve our goal to promote knowledge and understanding of the connection between all forms of life on earth linguistic, cultural and biological and to advocate in a variety of fora for the integrated protection of biocultural diversity. The making of child, children's primary trilingual dictionary and ethnobotanical knowledge of Bihar community, not only useful for community, but this can act as a catalyst to reverse the process of be and become barrier for no further damage. It will be a new sunrise for endangered language community when their language will be a part of the school curriculum then interrupted family transmission will not be a problem of an old generation when their responsibilities are shared by the schools. Okay, thank you. And feel free to uh, drop a suggestion and the, come up with a question on the 4th of March, 9 to 9.30 India, uh, 9, 9 to 9.30 PM.